Okay, so obviously this one is, is way different. It's a different wooden advent calendar style than the one that we did a few weeks ago. This one, this one is five wide by five deep, and this one is six by four. So this one gets all the way to 25. This one's just gonna get you to 24, which most advent calendars get you to Christmas Eve and then it's done. So it's the same material, it's the same wood and everything. The, obviously the this one I painted white. Um, the other one that I haven't shared yet, but I have had in videos and stuff, this one right here, this is, I didn't paint this at all. So this is what it looks like when it's, um, when you get it, it's, it's like birch wood. It's that color. I thought that color looked really good with this one. Um, obviously with the other one, I wanted it to be white and this one, I wanted it to be a little shiny. So what I got was, <clears throat> and you can get this from Michael's or Joann's or Walmart or whatever. This is the deco art metallic champagne gold. Okay, so it just gives it just a little bit. It's not over the top. Um, I had one gold that made it look yellow. I always test them before, but I have colored all of it. I have painted all of it. And I hear the drawers flying out. <laughs> so this is, like I said, the drawers are different. Like these drawers, um, they have a hole, a half, a half circle on the top. And these are got a slash right there so we're just going to do that I won't you know show you doing all 24 of them or anything like that but what I wanted to do is I wanted to make this really really pretty so the peaceful evergreen dyes papers everything uh here got my The season of elegance and we're going to use this paper we are using these dies right here and we're not I, ha I don't have any of these on there but I haven't finished it so maybe we will use some of that so that's what we're gonna do today a little different Okay, the drawers on these, and you can see I just paint the front. I don't do the sides or inside, <clears throat> excuse me. So the size of this is one and five eighths by one and five eighths. So I just cut a whole bunch of the paper into that size. So the paper, I got it over here. Really one of the prettiest papers see I just used so much of it but um, on one side it's metallic on the other side it's not pretty peacock that's my favorite look at that so this is great paper and I just like I said my other two are my other two advent calendars are kind of cute and um, that kind and I just I want to do something really pretty and I started this a long time ago and I have not done my live in two weeks three weeks and i'm not going to be able to do it this week either just got a, a lot going on hopefully everything will calm down a little bit pretty soon um, but i wanted to get this done because as of right now it's it's late november or it's like the middle of november and uh, i'm running out of time so i did let's see one and five eighths of all of these green Let's see so I've got the, the the white the red the blue the green and I think that's it all right so okay so just like I said I did this so long ago and I'm just trying to Remember everything that I've done. You can see I've already done some of them already, but I'm just trying to figure out how to, I had it all figured out and then I don't have it figured out and you know, that's how it goes. Okay. 
All right, so it's gonna look pretty no matter what. So basically, like I said, it's got that slash right there. So what I do is I did one, made sure it was right, and I just kind of use that as a tool the whole time I'm cutting the rest of them. So like, I'll just, this one, make sure it's right. Yeah, this one's good. So I just lay them like that. So that way I know that they're all gonna be about the same. For that one spot that needs to be cut off. You could do the whole thing on top of it, but it's gonna get, obviously, this is paper, this is, you know, it's not cardstock, even cardstock, I wouldn't do that, I would still cut this off because over time it's gonna, unless you're just displaying it. If you're just displaying it, then I wouldn't worry too much about it. But I think it looks, especially with that metallic paint on there, I just think it looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do all those, you don't need to see that, and then we're gonna add our numbers. The biggest thing is up here. I can't wait for y'all to see what I got. It's very, there's, I've got so much stuff to put on there. Um, I just got really excited for it. Um, and so we're gonna do that. That's gonna take the longest. All this doesn't take that long. Okay, so I got all my paper cut so that, that you're gonna see that little opening there. Um, what I did with the numbers, it's the, alphabet a la mode and what I used was gold foil and I did put it on an adhesive sheet because these are very skinny I got them in here they're very very skinny so um, on the other advent calendars I had embellishments and all that stuff all I'm doing on these um, is the numbers and so oh this is gonna be 18 because I already have eight so I gotta get a one too um, on the other ones, the, the square advent calendar, these numbers wouldn't fit on there. They would fit sometimes, but not all of them. I mean, obviously like a, some of the numbers fit and some of them didn't. So um, let's do, but for this one, they fit on there. And I, I love that. Okay, so I've got all those. I'm gonna just start assembling them on there and uh, and then we'll get going. Okay, so I got all the numbers put on here. I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put them down here and put this, our glass mat on top of them because you can see some of the colors or some of the numbers are lifting. I mean, I'm just gonna put them down there. It doesn't have to be in numerical order. Or if you wanna make, um, your advent calendar, this one, if you want them in numerical order, you could do that. Um, but I probably won't. I just kind of like the little, I, I like the way it looks when it's sort of everywhere. But this is, you know, this isn't like a kitty one or, you know, whatever. So maybe, maybe it would be in numerical order. We'll see. Maybe I will do that. So, um, actually I'm going to flip it over because it has has the feet on the bottom so putting that on top and we're just gonna let that in here we are gonna use Mod Podge on this um, on my other one I did not use Mod Podge but this one because it's foil and it's all that it's just not as sturdy as uh, as other paper I got these you know I have this huge bottle too, huge bottle of Mod Podge and then I saw these like where you can squirt it out, and I'm like Okay, I like that a little better than having the big one where, you know, it's just, it's, there's so much more in there. And I guess I could use the big one to refill these when I run out. So I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to use the gloss or the matte. I think I'm going to try the gloss because that, I mean, if this is a shiny, sparkly advent calendar. So let those sit for a minute and we'll do that. All right, so I have this big giant silicone mat. Um, obviously Stampin' Up! has... Oh, I used to have one over here. Well, you know, the little one that we have. I have about 20 of those, but I love this big one um, for projects like this. I have this linked in, um, on my must-haves for crafting. It comes with like three, and I use them all the time. Let's see. I haven't even opened this yet. 
Oh gosh, I should have opened this before we got started. This Mod Podge here. Um, my scissors are here somewhere. Oh, I'm, look at that, I'm picking them up. I'm going, my scissors are here somewhere. All right. No, this isn't going well. <laughs> I'm not getting it. I don't, I hope that's enough. I, look at that, I got glue all over my hands. All right. <laughs> I love baby wipes. Use them for techniques and for cleaning yourself. Okay, so I'm just gonna, you can see I did the white for the one thing and you could see some of the champagne over here. All right. I just want those numbers to be on there good and not fall off. And we'll see how this looks when it dries. I think it'll, I mean, glossy or matte, whatever. I mean, Mod Podge is wonderful. And see, and it's bowing up a little bit, but once we glue it on the drawers, it'll be okay. I know what I'm gonna do after I do this. Yeah, the other ones I didn't use the Mod Podge. I just, I used the multi-purpose glue, which is the glue I use you know, in the green bottle, I use that for just about everything. Um, but for this one, like I said, because it's um, foil, the numbers are, you know, the gold foil, and they just, they're, they're, did I do that one? <laughs> I don't think I did. Um, they, they don't just, they just don't stick. And plus these, the numbers, the dyes are very small, thin. And so I just, I like to put something on top of them because obviously your Christmas stuff, because I am displaying this in my house, and your Christmas stuff is, it goes in storage like ours does. It goes in the garage. And, you know, when you take it out, it might be all the numbers have come off. I've had that. I mean, I've done so many projects, Christmas trees, like little Christmas trees with ribbon, with buttons, and... The buttons are fine because they're on there with pins, but some of the ribbon, you know, I had come loose and everything. Got to use hot glue on those. All right, I think I got them all. All right. All right, so these are the silicone mats that are, you know, that we're using there. I have another one that I use for the tissue paper um, that I just keep with my tissue paper stuff. I haven't even opened this one, this lime green one, but what I'm gonna do, Oh, here. Sorry for all the noise. Probably should have done this off camera. Ooh. 
I mean, this is so you can see. That's what all the noise is. I'm surprised my dogs haven't walked in here. I'm like, what are you doing? All right, I'm gonna put this one on top of it. And I'm gonna put this back under my glass mat upside down to get it to really stick, okay? Okay, so these are all nice and flat, and I realized I used the mat, not the glossy, so, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, this paper has so much shine on it, and obviously the numbers are gold foil, so. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the advent, the wooden advent thing, and we're gonna start gluing those on. So I'm just gonna take out a few. It doesn't matter unless you are doing this in numerical order, um, then it would, but you know, I, I'll just let them be wherever they wanna be. <laughs> it, it's a little harder if you're doing them in order like that because then you gotta make sure you don't have two colors side by side, you know, the same color side by side. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna use the Mod Podge again. I'm just gonna get out a few because <clears throat> the um, I gotta put a, a block over it so it stays, you know, gets nice and flat on there. All right. seems a little big. Did I make? Eh, I can always cut it off. So, all right. Sorry, you can't even see it. Probably should put a little more on this than I do on the tops of everything. And another block. Let's do the rest. Okay, I have found, as I was doing this, you need a little more Mod Podge on this because obviously this is wood and it's just kind of absorbing a lot of the glue. So what I did is I just like go like this to get a lot on there. Make sure it lines up on the edge here. I have noticed and I'll show, I'll show you that in a minute. Some of them are hanging over the edge. They're all the same size, but obviously the boxes are a different size. It's kind of the way it goes. Just, but I like that part to be on there. See, this one doesn't. This one doesn't hang over the edge. <laughs> Some of them do. They're all the same size. I cut them all the same size. So, don't know. Okay. Last one. Am I? Wait a minute. Okay. I know I have an extra. I have one more. So, oh, it's still it's it's the last one left in here. I'm like, okay. I dumped these all out, and so many fell to the floor. And my dog, my my. Dachshund, my wiener dog, he comes running in there because he'll eat just about everything. And fortunately, I was in here because if I wasn't in here, we would be missing one of the boxes because he would chew it up. <laughs> he chews up everything. Okay. All right. So let those dry. But see how that hangs a little over the edge? Don't know why. Some, some of them are just a little smaller, but it's pretty easy because it's a flat edge and it's easy to a little bit, but that's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one. That one's okay. 
just every once in a while I see some that are, that's okay, hanging over the edge a little bit. It's okay. Yeah, this one's not. Just a little tiny bit. Okay. This one's okay. Let's see these. This one's okay. That one. This one has a little tiny bit on there. Okay. Mm, I put that one down too close to the bottom. I don't want to cut off any of the numbers. Just get a little. I could just. Here. Hopefully it doesn't tear it too much because it's still wet. Okay, so we're gonna put it back on. So it, there we go. So it's right on the edge. I have to put one of these back on there. I feel like I keep looking at the same ones. So I just had a few that were like that that just hung over the this one just a little tiny bit. There we go. And obviously I painted the front of these and then the paper goes over the top of it. So you don't, but that way, if there is just a little border or something, you're gonna see that shimmery um, acrylic paint on there. Okay. All right, so they're all done. We're gonna put these aside because we're gonna start making the top of this and then figuring out where all these go inside, we'll figure that out at the end. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put trees up here. Um, the Peaceful Evergreen's got the stamps and the dies. We're just gonna use the dies. Um, and I've worked on this a couple of times, just doing them different kinds of ways till I got to, you know, got it to the point where I really liked it. Um, it's hard because, you know, just to stand them up um, in there, you'd have to have something on the back. They'd have to be a little thicker. Um, so I just came up with an idea. So I'm going to grab my die cut machine and we're going to die cut it. And I'm going to show you the way that I did it, that I liked it. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut it. This is the thick or heavy. I can never remember what it's called. I think it's called thick white and that's what I'm going to use. You're not going to see it because we're going to cover it up with the designer series paper. Designer series paper, pattern paper usually is pretty thin. So I like to put some cardstock behind it so that it stays, you know, a little sturdier. Um, and this is very versus the paper, which I got right here. This. So we're going to die cut one on here. This paper is so pretty. I mean, it's just, it's so pretty. I want to save the paper as much as I can, but I really want as much of that gold to shine, to show. Okay. Just gonna do this right here on top of the machine. Oh gosh, this better work. <laughs> Every time I say, oh, oh, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, good. <laughs> Every time I tell myself, once I make a video, you need to check and make sure your glue is gonna come out so you don't spend 10 minutes trying to get it to come out. <laughs> the last few times for my videos, I've been able to do that. It, it works right away, so that's good. All right, so there's what's so great about the multi-purpose is you can move it around. So that makes it a lot thicker, okay? All right, so this is more of the thick, heavy, basic white. And I'm gonna cut it, this is, I just grab, you know, whatever I have in there. This is about three and a half. I don't think it really matters. I mean, you don't want it to be too, um, well, here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do about three quarters of an inch. Okay, so it's three and a half. And I'm just gonna fold it in half like that. And our tree is right here. Mm. 
and we're gonna glue that on the back so that it can stand up inside the advent. Now, if you can see it, you are gonna see the bottom of it a little bit. I'm gonna push them all the way to the back, but, and I'm gonna hot glue these down, but we're gonna put some stuff inside there that's gonna cover up that little white piece right there. Okay, so we got this one, which is the like neutral, almost it almost looks like it has crumb cake in it um, and gold. And then we're gonna do two greens and two reds. So get the die cut machine back up here and we're gonna put the thick white behind all of it. Okay, so you can see I've cut a lot of stuff out of this stuff and this has all been for this project. <laughs> One of my favorite things is coming up after we do the, the trees. Okay, so here's red, lots, lots of gold. Oh, here comes the garbage truck. <laughs> can you hear it? <laughs> Oh my goodness, our garbage truck, you know, some mornings it comes at like six o'clock in the morning and then some days it comes at like four in the afternoon. So you just never, never know when it's gonna do it. We need two of these. Hmm, I'm gonna have to get more of that. So let's see, I'll have to cut some. Thought I had enough, but I don't. All right, let's do the green because the green is the smallest one. I'll show you the different ways I did the um, trees too in just a second. Okay, there's one green. This one will do got enough in this one left to do two. Isn't that pretty? I mean, just all on its own. I've used the stamps a couple of times. I have been so crazy busy these last few weeks. I mean, I have so many Christmas cards. I haven't even had time to post. So, and as a demonstrator, we can look through, we can order from the new mini catalog that comes in January. And I'm not, I'm like, I'm, I have, it, everything listed that I want, but I'm not ordering anything yet until I get my Christmas stuff done. <laughs> okay, so red. I'm surprised I don't have any red. Oh, I do have red. Okay. Here's the red. Is that going to be, that's going to be too big to go through there. I'm going to have to cut it. How big are these? These are like one and a quarter. really is just so pretty all right see if I see it's just not gonna get a whole lot of the gold in there so it's kind of wasting paper up there on the top but I want it to look the way I want it to look okay so we've got two red two green and then we already did the other one right here. So I'm gonna, see it's got the ba the thick white on the back. I'm gonna do more of the thick white for the back of these and then we're gonna put them inside of our advent calendar. Okay, so the paper, the designer series paper on the back is, is pretty too. I just really, I, I wanted all that gold in here. I guess I could have just put this on the white, but that's all right. Okay. Oop, wrong side. Okay, just make some a little sturdier. Oh my gosh. There goes my dogs. So let them sit for a little bit and let them dry. All right, so we've got our one thing for the big one. Let's see if I do them the same size on all of them. There. 
Yeah, it's got to be a little skinnier for the green for the green ones. I'm gonna go ahead and wait, let me make sure. Right. Come on. There we go. Let's see if that that may not. Well, let's see. That's that's gonna lean it back some though, so I gotta Okay. Got that one. Let's see. I'll just do these a little smaller. Do them like five eighths instead of three quarters. Like I was telling you, I just I started making this and I just kept adding stuff. I mean, I kept buying stuff like off of Amazon <laughs> to put in there and I haven't finished it because I just can't buy several of these um, advent calendars and then make one and then do a video on it. I just have to kind of, you know, kind of die cut everything and sort of put it on there make sure I like it and then say, okay, now I'm going to do the video. It just, like I said, it's just sort of. Move that up a little bit. All right. All right, so here's our trees and how they can now stand up. I am gonna hot glue them into the advent, the wooden advent calendar just to make sure they stick. It's hard to tell from looking at them straight up, straight down, that but they stand up and it's gonna here. Let's see. My, All right. So there's that one. And I'm going to push it all the way. I'm going to glue it all the way to the back. It's going to look really good. Okay, let me get, I've got my glue gun somewhere. Let me plug it in. Okay, this makes me a little nervous. I've got it propped up here. So, because I can't really do it when it's face down in front of me. I want to center it. Okay, there's our first tree. Do the red ones. Let me just stick them in there so I can see. I'll start with the green because I'm going to put them all the way on the edge. Oh gosh, I'm getting hot glue everywhere. Ah. <laughs> the strings on hot glue. Ugh. Ooh. Well there, that's what it looks like so far. 
This one is kind of leaning back a little bit, but we are putting stuff in here to make them to that will push them up a little. All right, so all right. Hot glue guns are always scary. Depending on what you're doing, I'm sure like you like you're just like me. I've used it so many times where you burn your finger. <laughs> it's so fun. But hot glue is the way to go. All right. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that cute? This, yeah, this will get something. We, I got lots of stuff going in here. Okay, so there's our trees. Um, and this, this glue gun I got it off Amazon. I really like it because it's got a thin tip on it. And it's got a pat you know on and off button which i like because all the other glue tip or glue hot glue guns that i've had is that if you plug it in it's on so that's nice that it you can turn it off and let it cool off before you stick it in a drawer or whatever okay so all right here we go stuff i'm getting ready to show you is the non stampin up stuff it is <laughs> I'll have links to all this. Okay, so I've got here some preserved moss, and this is snow. I have not even opened this. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Um, let's see. And I got one other thing I'm gonna put in there. All right, so let's see. Let's tape. Let's see if I can. Told you, I just went a little crazy when I started putting this together. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be so cute and so pretty. Oh gosh, I'm afraid to open this. All right, let me get some big scissors. Oh. Okay, there's our snow. <laughs> I'm, you know, I've always said, if you've watched other of my videos, I'm not big on snow, because I'm in Florida. Okay? So it's like, we, I mean, I'm on the West Coast, Tampa area, so we're pretty, pretty, pretty far south. So we don't get snow here, although I think Tampa has gotten snow at some point. This is gonna make a mess. Um, but where I lived before, which was on the East Coast, further north, we had snow a couple of times. So it does happen, but it's not, oh my God, if you could see Dennis, <laughs> there's so many. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I'll just try to do it this way. I'm gonna really have to vacuum this out. I like the way this one looked. Uh, oh my God, this is gonna be such a mess. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it's gonna fall. If it, I mean, you can't even see it, but I mean, there's so much inside where the little, where the drawers are supposed to be, <laughs> but I go get a big vacuum. Just trying to make this look as artsy as I can. <laughs> don't fall, don't fall. Okay, so it, right, it's looking kind of cute. It's making those trees stand up. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of this stuff. I mean, I guess I'll just keep it. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Kind of like it. Hmm, let's see if I can... <laughs> Wait till you see this. messy you might be able to find something a little better but I like the way it looked I liked the the green how green it was it was you know like bright green all right so here's our snow I think what I'm gonna do is along the front 
make it as like as thin as possible. Oh, okay, what here? All right. Well, just do a little here and there. I'm no artist for sure. <laughs> I cannot draw. I cannot. I have terrible handwriting. So. All right. So there's some of our snow. Just gives it a little. But here's the best thing we're going to do. I got these lights. They're battery lights fairy lights as they're called i'll have a link to those too i've used these on other things in my house too okay you ready these are this is really cool isn't that cool so all right let's see let's try and undo this without it completely oh wait here we go all right i think wait what's going on here oh Here we go. This is seven feet, I think, long. Yeah, seven feet. They make them in all different sizes, but the the, the wire and everything is very thin. And it's battery. I'm just gonna put it behind the trees this way and then I'm gonna go back. Oh, I'm gonna go back the other way. Go in front. I mean seven feet. This is like what two feet or 18 inches probably. Okay. This is going to be really fun to clean up in here. Oh, there's still. My Christmas, I have so many Christmas things in my house that I have made, different things, and I use these lights almost always. I got it all in there <laughs> and then we oh I just knocked my thing sorry and then I will it's kind of hard because I'm looking at it face down but you could like spend a little more time getting this my green one you can't even see there's so much snow and okay I think that that looks really cute and we are not done okay we are going to put some stuff all along the top here. Oh gosh, I kind of like that. And that, well, once we put the drawers back in and everything, we'll see what it looks like. I'm going to take a break and I'm going to clean this all up. And then we will do this part. And then I think after we do that part, we're done. And then we can put the drawers back in and you can see it. Voila, totally finished. I got most of the big stuff up, so I'm just going to use my little vacuum here. I, I this is listed in, under my on my site under must-haves for the craft room. Those big pieces it would have a little trouble with, but this is really good for embossing powder, um, little pieces from like the, when you die cut something and all the little pieces come out. There, it's really good for that. See, it pushes back some of them. But I mean, this thing is great. I use it. I use, you know what? I, I even use it on my kitchen table. Um, after everybody eats, you know, there's crumbs and everything. I use this on my kitchen table too. It's very, very nice. Well, I cleaned off as best as I could. I'm gonna once I'm 
done with this, I'm gonna have to take everything off and really clean it, but um, not bad. The little vacuum thing got up a lot of the little small pieces, so that was good. All right, so there we go. I added some more of the, it's not gonna call it grass, it's called moss, but I added that in the front a little bit, so really pretty, and the, the control for the lights is behind this tree, and it's just really when it's standing up, you don't really see it, so um, I may play with that a little more and try and get it a little more hidden. All right, so what we're gonna do on the roof, part of the Peaceful Evergreen dies is this right here. This is um, dies for a bow. I love that. We've had that in several different sets and things over the years. I've already made most of them. So, well, I've made all of them, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Got, let's see, what paper do I have over here? I got some of the peacock and some of the red, so see if this will even work. It's gonna be, because I did them all one color, so it's not all that's gonna fit. Let's see, I hear a dog coming into my room. All right, let's see what else I have. That's not gonna work either. Here, we'll just, we'll use this one. Like I said, I have them already assembled and everything, but of course I wanna show you. So the three pieces, and then there's this little square tube. I didn't use that. Um, I'll show you. All right. wandering around. I cannot leave paper on the floor in my stamp room because of that dog. All right. Move this. I think we're done with that. All right. So these are the three pieces that you get. These, I'm going to use my phone folder to curl it a little bit. All right, some blue dots. fold them together like that. Okay, so there's one side. There's our other side. Like that, so then we put a glue dot on one of these on the outside so we can them together. All right, so there's the top of our bow. And then this goes on the middle. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So cute. You know, I haven't done this, and actually, I'm going to do this with one of the other colors just to see what it looks like. Oh, this does not want to move. <laughs> here, I'll do it with this. I didn't do it. I have all the bows. I'll pull them over here in a second, but just want to see what this looks like with it on there. Oh, my gosh. It's so tiny. Let's just see how this looks. Gotta love glue dots. Can't use them on everything, but when you can, it oh, makes it so much easier. Let's see. Okay. 
You know, that actually looks really cute, don't you think? So I didn't do it with the other ones and I'm not gonna waste the time doing it all that, but here is, got some with the red. That's the paper, they can look so different. So I got two red, two green. This one hardly has any sparkle on it. Um, I got two with the peacock, my favorite. Love that. And then I've got one with the neutral color with the gold. And then I have two. This is the gold vellum. That's an online thing. What I did with it was I put an adhesive sheet on it and adhered it to old olive cardstock just to make it a little more sturdy and just it's still it's still very gold and sparkly it just gives it a little bit of color behind it and I did two of those so you can see on the back you can see it's old olive but it's still much with the most of what you see is gold all right okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put these along this part right here and use those glue dots again. Hopefully that'll be enough. Since there's only one of these, that's gonna be the center one. Okay, there's one. And then the rest are all twos. So let's just adhere, put them, adhere them on, just, oh lay them on there and just see what it's gonna look like. Oh, it does not wanna stay on there. Let's see, try it on that side. Oh, okay. Well, let's see, this is what we'll do. Which one should be on the end? Maybe the, okay, we'll do the green on the ends. Do it so that this doesn't hang all the way over the edge. I'm gonna do it so it's actually, the edge of the bow is on the edge of it, so it's not hanging over. Oh my gosh, I just tore this. Mm. I messed with it too much. This is the one that doesn't have any foil on it, so maybe, maybe it's telling me, get some more with metallic on it. Hold that for a second. All right, got a glue dot. Oh my gosh. How cute. Okay. And then, oh, we got, oh, now it's staying. And we have, oh, right, this is the, I'm like, why do I have an extra one of those? Oh, that should be further away. Maybe now. Okay, well, let's just, one thing about the glue dots is you can, that one's coming loose too. I've had them sitting on my one of my tables for, a long time. Finally got around to doing this. See it tore two. All right. Oh, that doesn't even work. All right, we'll see. Then this one, this one's nice and thick because it's got that piece of cardstock behind it. And then the red one. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. Okay, so other side.
I am going to display this in my house for Christmas. I started pulling down all our Christmas decorations down today. And I think I will probably put this somewhere really safe because it does have a lot of paper and things and it can oh my gosh that looks so cute look at that it just is so festive maybe hot glue gun to get these on there we'll see how this goes it should it should be okay but you could always use the hot glue gun the hot glue gun though is like no mistakes and it makes a mess all right so cute all right I'm gonna put the drawers back in and then we're gonna make the very last thing for this. Okay, so I just, I put them all in. I mean, I may change them a little bit, but I mean, so far this is just really one of my favorite projects I've ever done. I mean, it just looks so pretty and so festive and sparkly and lit up. And I mean, just, this is really one of the prettiest suites. I mean, the paper and, and everything is just so beautiful and it really doesn't take a whole lot to make these I mean obviously the um, the drawers that's one and five eighths and one and five eighths and then you cut off a little bit of it so you're just not using a whole lot okay now we're gonna make I like I said I have not um, made one of these I mean I had the decisions made and everything but I have an, one more thing to put on the top and that's what we're gonna do next you may have heard about these stars. Um, I found out about them um, from a demonstrator. I think she's um, German. And so I watched her video. I had to you know, obviously close caption it in English because I don't speak any German. But her video was really easy anyway to show how to do these. And so I already made this one and I made it with that vellum. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make another one. We're going to make it a little smaller than this one. And we're going to put it on the top of the roof. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like that or not, but at least I can show you how to make these. These would be really cool. You can put like twine in there and you could make them into ornaments. You could put them on top of wine bottles. You could, uh, you know, all that different stuff. You could do so many things with this. So... So I've got my pretty peacock in the designer series paper here. These were each piece. There's five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. And those were three by three. These I'm going to do two and a half by two and a half. So it's going to be a little smaller. So two and a half. Oh, paper wants to move. Okay. Two and a half. That one's not going to get a whole lot of bling on it, but that's okay. Two and a half. Oop. Two and a half. Two and a half. That one's going to be too small, so we're going to do one more. no die cutting there's no scoring you're all doing this by hand all you're doing is cutting it to whatever size you could do it um, and you really want to use designer series paper it's a little thinner so it's a little easier to do uh, cardstock I did do one on cardstock this right here this was one of the 12 by 12 pieces so the, those are a little thinner than the actual cardstock so you could do it with cardstock, but I would say you would have to do the bigger ones with cardstock because smaller, it just gets very, um, it, it's really hard to fold it. All right, so we've got, this is two and a half, so it's, we're going to fold it. I'm going to have to pick it up so I can see what I'm doing. We're going to fold it in half like this. Okay, then you're going to unfold it and you're going to have that line up and down and you're going to take this side and you're going to fold it 
into the metal like this, okay? And the same on the other side. Okay, then you're gonna take the top, you're gonna fold it over. All right, open it up, put that one in there. So there you go, you got a triangle. You're gonna take this and fold it up like that. We're gonna do this several times. And I, when I was watching hers, I had to watch it a few times, okay? So they're like that. It looks like a transformer. <laughs> I'm the mom of boys, so transformers were huge for a while. So like that, you're gonna unfold it like this, push in, push down. See, so now it's like that compared to that one. Same on this side. Push down, so it's like that. And then you fold up. And fold up like that. Does that make sense? That's her star. Here, we'll do it again. It does look like a transformer. <laughs> okay, fold it like that to make like almost like a teepee. Unfold it. side You're doing the same on each side so that's good it's not like it's different instructions each side you do you do the same thing to the other side then okay and then we put that in the inside like this and then you're gonna fold this is where, because this one's a little smaller, it's a little harder. Obviously when it's three by three, it's a little bigger. So these are not. It's just easier when it's bigger. Okay, so there we go like that. Take it out. Push it the other way so it becomes like that and then up up okay all right I even I made that so long ago that when I was preparing for this part of the video I was like mm, I don't remember how to do that <laughs> so I had to watch the, I had I had instructions but I'm just more of a like I like to have things typed out in two, but for something like this, I like to see it. It's a lot easier for me. See, this part is harder because you've got several layers versus the first couple. It's just one layer. And then up, up. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? We'll put the real, the, these, we'll put those in the middle of the star. You could, if you really wanted it to be like this the whole way, you'd have to use obviously a lot more paper. And I will tell you the advent calendar that 
the wood one that looks like almost like a house. I just went on Amazon and it's a Black Friday deal. So it is cheaper than what I paid for it. <laughs> so I'll have a link to it. I am an affiliate. So if you buy it through that link, I earn a little money. It doesn't cost anything more to you. Would have been nice if it had been that price. Then I would have went ahead and bought another one. I mean, they're not super expensive, but they're not, I mean, paid about $30 and now it's like 23, so pretty nice. Okay, one more after this one. Oh, oh look at, oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? I love pretty peacock. I love pretty peacock. So with, with paper, when you're doing this, whatever side you want to show, is when you fold it, it's gonna be on the outside, not on the inside. The way this is all scored and everything, all that shows is that side, which is really nice. I mean, you're gonna see a little bit of the, like on the inside of the stars and stuff, but for the most part, it is, it's all one side because obviously with designer series paper it is the same it's different on each side so This is pretty easy. Once you can remember it and everything, it goes pretty fast. And that's what's so great is that it's, all it is is cutting the paper and then folding it by hand. All right, I swear it looks like a transformer. <laughs> okay. All right, so now we're gonna adhere it together. I'm gonna get my tape, it's over here somewhere. I'm gonna, we're gonna start doing that, okay. Maybe I'll do this one in the middle, like that. That is gonna, that's gonna be really pretty, okay. did it like this I'm trying I'm looking at I think you just go okay so it goes on here you could use hot glue gun too this is easier <laughs> Line them up. Okay. My husband borrows my tear and tape all the time. He uses it for, I don't know, stuff he's doing around the house. And you know what's really funny is the tear and tape, when my kids were little and we did the elf the elf on the shelf um i use this stuff for everything i mean i if you're friends with me personally on facebook you can look at my elf on the shelf photo albums i did some really cool stuff and tear and tape really worked well for the elf now he just sits on a Christmas tree. Oh, well, we did, we did a couple of years, even when we knew none of them obviously believed in it anymore. We did some really funny adult stuff. Not like graphic or anything, but just, you know, look at that. Look at our star. See, I'm gonna put this one in front of this one. 
Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, let's bring that advent calendar back over here. All right. Mm. This is just really hard because I can't pick it up. I'm just going to put it up here. I guess put this one on Oh, first. It's going to be hard to glue it on there. And then this one behind it. Hmm. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to try it. And I'm going to see if I like it. It looks so pretty on its own. Um, I even thought of doing it on the chimney. But, oh, that actually might look really good. Like that? What do you think? Hmm. Maybe I won't even use this one, or maybe this one and then this one. I don't know. See, I just keep going back and forth. I may just leave this alone, but these are so pretty. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna use my glue gun. And that paint so pretty, so sparkly. I have a big box of acrylic paint, like when my kids were still doing um, science fair projects and stuff. I hate science fair projects. I think it's the worst thing that anybody ever came up with. Okay, I should have put this on here before. <laughs> here, I'll take it. Science fair projects are, ugh, they're terrible but they've been over for a while. My youngest is a junior in high school, so once they get hit high school, they don't have, it down, well, in our case, they don't have to do them. There's some in middle school, and there's definitely some in elementary school. This, is, this one is like, that's not working for me, but let's see. What do you think? I mean, I just don't know. I mean, I gosh, that does look pretty though. Just really festive. All right, I'm gonna have to do hot glue on that one. Or, you know what? I'm gonna put some of this tear and tape on this. Uh, you can't even see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put tear and tape on the back of this and maybe that's just the way I already put the drawers in, and here I am wanting to lay it down. Let's see if maybe it'll be better. Oh, oh gosh, my tape is going everywhere. I should have just, okay, that, you know what? <laughs> Gosh, not a smart move. Okay, we're gonna adhere them together before we put them on the calendar. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? All right. a little better if I pull that up and those up oh my gosh I'm gonna tear everything I got a lot of the paper okay maybe that hmm okay let's see I have to rethink my bows on there too. I guess I could have done a live with this, but oh my gosh. I mean, I started, I haven't done one in a while, just a lot of stuff going on. Um, some of it not so good, but everything's okay. Everyone's okay. Um, just a lot of stress. So, but 
if I'd done live, this would have been... Okay. Oh, okay. And then... Hmm. She wants to come loose. You can hear her. How am I going to do... I guess I could still do these like that. <laughs> okay, then everything's falling apart. And that one on that. Hmm. All right. Got to fix this stuff. Let's see. Just making this, just like I told you, I just went a little crazy. I just kept finding stuff and I'm like, oh, that would be better. That would be better. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, this de this definitely, okay, here, here it is. You don't want to just shove it in a box with like 15 other things on top of it, for sure. Let's see. Can I get those a little flatter? Oh man, I <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh. I'll have to, obviously I'll have a picture of this to share with you, but look at that. Just need to fix these a little bit. Maybe, let's see. This is obviously like not like my other um calendars that are I mean, one was obviously with the snowman and everything more like for a kid. I mean, even my, my youngest son, we were eating dinner the other night. And he's like, you remember that advent calendar you had? And you put candy in it. And we each had a, a day because 24 can, is dividable by three. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And I said, maybe I'll do it again this year. And he was really happy. <laughs> so like the, okay, this one is just does not want to stick together. Um, so the snowman one is more like that, like for candy and stuff. But wouldn't this one be, I mean, I'm. I started thinking of different things to put in there. You could do like scripture. You could do, no, let's see. Let's get this a little, oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. I don't have anything on the, on the, this, but that, I mean, I painted it, so it's pretty on its own, but look at that. Let me zoom out so you can. All right, I'm going to zoom in, yeah, and then I zoom out. I just can't. All right, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Um, you could do a scripture in here. You could do, I mean, you could put jewelry in there, you know, if you're <laughs> uh, giving one to your wife, you know, that kind of stuff. I could tell my husband that. I could tell him, you could put jewelry in there if you want to. Um so there you go. Isn't that pretty? I can't wait to display that. I'll have a picture of it. And um, here I'll share with you the other ones. I already shared the one, but I'll share you this, with you the snowman too. Or no, I think I shared that one too. But there's this one. And then that one. That one definitely looks like it's for kids. I love that. So there you go, three very different advent calendars. These two are the same um, box. And then this one, like I said, is a little different and it, there's a Black Friday deal on it. So if you want it, now's the time to get it. You get like $6, $7 off. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I do have a kit for the blue and gray one. I was gonna do one for snowman, but I've just run out of time. Um, but if you really want that kit or whatever, uh, you can reach out to me. I hope everyone's having a great day. See ya.